Hey, this is Tony with Salt Strong, and in this video, we're going to be talking about the colors that you see on nautical charts and what they mean. So, the main three colors we're going to be talking about are the whites, the blues, and the greens that you see on the nautical charts. Now, you may also see some other colors uh, when it comes to the actual landmass, whether it's a satellite image or if it's not a satellite image, it will typically be like a tan or a beige color or gray. So, that would signify landmass. Now when it comes to the water there are some things you want to consider. So first let's talk about uh, the white area. All of the white area is going to be you know deeper water that you can uh, typically navigate in your boat on normal tide levels. So if you have a normal uh, low tide there's going to be at least a foot or two of water in the areas in white. And obviously, if you're navigating, uh, you do want to stay in the channel, if at all possible, and then slow down when you get outside of the channel. That way you don't uh, run the risk of running into any obstructions or anything like that. Now next, I wanted to talk about the areas in blue. When you see areas like this, as you can see, all this area in here is blue. What that means is on a normal low tide, the bottom of a low tide, there will still be water in this area, but it's going to be probably less than a foot deep. So it's going to be very shallow. So you need to use caution if you are in a boat. That way you don't get stuck uh, in areas like this. And then the areas in green, these areas will have water on them on high tide, but they will be exposed on low tide. So those areas you definitely want to uh, pay attention to when it comes to navigation so you don't get stuck or you don't run into them while you're moving around on your boat. So again, areas in white, deep water, you can typically navigate safely with a boat. Blue means there will be a little bit of water on low tide, but usually less than a foot. And then the green areas, these areas will be exposed on low tide, and then they will have water over them on high tide, but it will be very, very shallow. So you definitely want to keep that in mind. And then lastly, you may wonder, you know, how can this tie into fishing? How can this help me out if I'm looking for a spot to fish? Well, these areas in blue, they're typically going to be a flat if you're fishing inshore. You know, flats, they get very shallow on low tide and then they have more water on them on high tide. And then areas like this that may be those green areas are typically going to be sandbars or, you know, very shallow islands or even oyster bars. So if you're not looking at a true satellite map and just looking at the nautical charts, this can be a way to sort of determine, you know, and pick out what types of spots you want to go uh, target while you're fishing. The only downfall is when you're looking at the charts, you can't really see uh, structure like you would be able to on a regular satellite map. But another thing you can do is pay attention to these black lines. And I do have another video on that. If you want to check that out, we'll have a link down below this video. And if you happen to be watching this on YouTube, I highly suggest going to our main website at saltstrong.com where you'll see a full article post on this video and you'll see a link for that other video right down below it. So that will wrap up this video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. Also, if you have any other questions about charts that you would like to see uh, addressed, definitely let us know as well. Till next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. If you are new to Salt Strong, we are the largest online fishing club for saltwater anglers, and we guarantee you two things. Number one, you'll start catching more fish in less time. And number two, you will save a ton of money on your favorite tackle and gear with discounts available exclusively for our members. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com, and we'll see you there. There's something about the water that'll give you peace All by yourself or with your family Live Salt Strong in where the lines are dead.